The one piece of advice that I would give a company that's still running XP is they, they need to think about this issue now. The date is out in 2014 as far as the end of support, but that doesn't mean you can wait until then. You've got to think about it now. Make sure that you are, are investigating what needs to be done and you get started with the actual implementation of the upgrade to Windows 7 now. When comparing Windows 7 with Windows XP for use in the industrial marketplace, uh, it's actually a, uh, a, a really nice extension of Windows XP and the feature set that it provided for the industrial space. Windows 7 is actually the first Windows operating system designed specifically for intensive, heavy processing applications. There are lots of um, capabilities that computers give us as the computers continue to get better and better and better. But you only get those capabilities if the operating system is up to speed with those capabilities. Continuing to use XP is going to result in an increase in cost and a decrease in productivity. Productivity will, will diminish because they haven't taken the right steps to properly upgrade to the latest operating system you're going to be addressing the challenges of using a legacy operating system so much that you you can't address what you're using the operating system for. You're going to spend your time and resources just trying to maintain using your outdated operating system. The biggest issue I've seen with not addressing the end of XP support is that you're no longer going to receive security updates from Microsoft. Uh, applications will continue to run, everything will continue to function, however the vulnerabilities that have been exposed year in and year out will continue to mount without any counter support from, from Microsoft. If you don't start now and don't get this, this process rolling, uh, the, the, the fear there is that you could run out of time and then you are faced with a situation where some hardware could go bad with one of the, the uh, company's customers they can't uh, fix the hardware unless they use newer versions of hardware. The newer versions of hardware won't work with the older uh, operating system, and they've got a customer who has a machine that's down, and that's costing sometimes millions of dollars. The main piece of advice I'd give a company currently running XP is to begin formulating a plan if you haven't already on how to migrate away from it. The sooner you upgrade, the better. There's no point in delaying the inevitable.